Oregon and this opportunity that was appealing to you as somebody who was very good at the level that you were and where you were at, what, what made this the, the right situation? Yeah, I think from the jump, uh, one of the greatest tips I ever got recruiting-wise was go where you love and go where you can get coached. And Coach Laura again, Coach Robinson have been all over me ever since I entered the portal. And they presented this opportunity and they stayed persistent with me as I was exploring options. And um, coming to a program like this that has such a good you know, NFL pedigree across the board, I felt like it was a great opportunity for me to you know, me and the other guys to change how specialists are viewed here and bring it to that elite level again. Was the, the initial conversation with you and Lorgan before, was that the first time you guys had, had talked? Yeah, uh, out of high school. I never really uh, was recruited by Lorgan at his previous schools, but um, so that was the first type of contact I ever had with him. And I saw that uh, Eugene area code on my phone and I was like, there's no way. But when I picked up that phone, I was, I was sure as glad that I did. So you, you knew who Joel was? Oh, I definitely did. Yeah, he's produced so many NFL guys, um, Blake Gillikin and John Stout, guys I look up to and I model my game after. So I definitely knew him and his pedigree for sure. So what's it been like the last couple of weeks of being here and working with them and working on your game? It's been excellent. Uh, you get coaching every single day, instant feedback. Uh, you got, it's not just the two special teams emphasize coaches. You got other coaches that know a little bit here and there and it goes a long way. There's so much uh, experience here across the board and I'm learning every single day I'm learning something new every day about schemes and um, obviously it's more than just me punting the ball down the field I'm learning little things like how to hold properly and uh, building connection with the guys where, where have you seen yourself improving the most? definitely working on my consistency um, you know in my career I've had moments where I was really high and moments where I was a little lower and here it's the standard has been set so high by uh, Luke Dunn and Ross James, those guys, they bring it every day, so I have to bring it every day. And if I don't, then, um, you know, I always have that in the back of my head. So definitely my consistency is amped up. Coach, Coach Laurie was talking about the goals of 4 5 and 40 for the punters. And over your career, you've certainly had even better numbers than that. So just how, how do you feel like you've performed so far in camp and, and relative to those metrics that you're shooting for? I definitely feel I'm getting more confident as I go on. Um, you know, the first couple of days trying to learn the, the scheme and uh, meet all the guys. You know, I was easing my way into it, but I definitely feel way more confident now in my abilities. I feel like I bring it every day, just like the other guys do, and I'm pushing them and they're pushing me. I've never seen too many Australians play football, and this team has two of them. What's it like having a, a counterpart from your own country? I love it. Um, I've been lucky to play all, all around the country in my career, and every time I get to meet a fellow Aussie, it just feels like a little bit of home. Um, Dunny, as we like to call him, uh, love the dude. He's, he's great to be around. Every single day, it's like I have another Aussie. So it feels, the little kid in me feels great. Um, so definitely it's something I don't take for granted. But uh, we love it. We live it up as much as we can. Uh, we love to meet new people. And him and I are very similar in that way. Was, was Luke being here kind of a helping factor in your decision to come to Oregon? I think... It definitely was something I wasn't expecting coming out of the portal, but it definitely was like, okay, this is gonna make me feel even more comfortable because I've lived in the South ever since I moved to the States and coming out here was definitely different, but it, I felt comfort knowing him and I were in this together. Like we're learning something new, living in a place we've definitely never lived in before. So it was, it was comforting for sure. What have you seen of him just as, as, as a true freshman, just coming here and first time in the States? Yeah, at a camp like this. the sky's the limit for the kid. Um, you know, I say the kid, and he's only a few years younger than me, but uh, <laughs> he's so much maturity for his age, and he's definitely holding up his end of the bargain for sure. And um, he's not afraid to let it loose every single day. And I'm really, really uh, proud of him in a way, because obviously a lot of freshmen struggle initially, but he's definitely uh, doing everything he can to bring it. It's a guy with the most game experience. How do you? Try to help prepare him for that. That if he wins the job, he's going to be out there, and it's hard to simulate 54,000 people in a building right. and all that. How, how do you try to prepare him without making more of it than what it is? But yeah, it's just, it's different for specialists than it is for a lot of other positions. Yeah, I'm, I just try to be there for him as much as I can. I don't want to crowd him and have too many voices in his head. Uh, if he wants to come to me for any type of advice, I'm always there to help. That's another aspect of why Coach Lord brought me in, was just be that experience be more of a leader around these guys and help them as much as I can. So um, he's doing a good job right now, but obviously, when, you, like you said, an Otson is a little different. Uh, but I'll be there for as much as he needs from me. I'll, I'll definitely give it. Why to move on in the first place, man? Like, 
terms of, and you were a star, obviously, mm -hmm. you're successful there. I'm sure you could have kept the job, I'm sure you say. So whether it was here or anywhere else, looking for another opportunity, a bigger school, sure. But mm -hmm. why look to leave when yet ultimately starting and you know, the numbers kind of translated specialist. Right. Um, I think the opportunity was too great. I was nearly, I'm nearly married over the summer. So me and my wife, we were, we were like, let's, we're all in this together. And she was able to get a brilliant job out here. And um, that was definitely a big fact. It was the team decision in that, in that lens. It wasn't just about me, um, but the University of Oregon. I lived in Tennessee for the last seven years of my life. Everyone knows about Oregon. Obviously, Marcus leaving his legacy here. And um, it's a guy I've looked up to ever since I got into football. And uh, to go to the same school he did, it's an opportunity I couldn't pass up. And I have a genuine passion for sports and there's no better school in the country with Nike just up the road and the connections here. It was a full package. It was more than just football for me. All right, thanks, Matt. Thanks, Matt. Thank you.